Hey guys, Range Collector 62492 here with another review, and today we're going to be looking at another Legacy item. This is the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie Legacy Black Ranger. So, this is my third review on the Legacy movie line. We have a total of four more figures, pink, yellow, blue, and white. Uh, pink is out now, I'm still working on getting pink, but the other three, blue, yellow, and white, have not been released yet. So, if you guys want to go get these figures you guys can go to your local Toys R Us and I think they retail about $17, $16 something so but uh, anyway guys let's take a look at this real quick this is the packaging of course exactly the same as the other packaging in the triangle box it's supposed to replicate what it used to look like in 95 when the movie came out got the window showing the Black Ranger there and it also says that it's from the original 95 movie and it just says Black Ranger there the top has nothing in the back just has the description of the movie as well as the bio and a advertisement for the other figures if you guys want to pause right there there's the bio or the story and then here's the bio so let's take this guy out of the packaging and see what he's like All right, guys here he is out of the packaging the mighty morphin black ranger from the movie and this guy looks really amazing i love the head sculpt on him uh, the Mastodon hel helmet always intrigued me just because the way it was designed is really sleek and really nicely detailed. But you can tell in the movie that they definitely retooled the helmets and they kind of added an armored look to the helmets as well. And that is, uh, you can totally tell that in this figure, by the way. So here's a profile shot of the figure so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But uh, I'll do a full rotation here so you guys can see that he is really exquisite really nice paint detail it is just really beautiful um now the fact that he's got the black shiny glossy coat on it um you probably won't be able to tell about the muscle detail on the or not the muscle the armor detail on this figure because uh like i said the light is aggravating it but i will bring it up close so you guys can see all the detail real quick so there is the helmet like i said i love this design really beautiful you guys can kinda of see the armor on the suit I didn't mind the suit designs for the movies I see a lot of people that complain about it but I I rather enjoyed them uh, you guys can see the Mastodon coin on the chest there as well as the, the morpher and the cuffs right there are really nice you guys can see the kinda of see the sculpting detail on the legs and the boots right here. And the boots had a retooling to it. It wasn't just plain white with black diamonds. They added some kind of design to it. So pretty cool. Really nice figure. I do like it. I forgot to mention something about uh, about this. Now, there is a rumor going around. And I, I fell for it too. But apparently someone is saying that the, the movie morpher is removable. I have tried and I have tried to remove this. Actually, someone mentioned this to me. I was like, isn't the movie more for removable? No, it is not. It is molded in there. So um, if I'm wrong and I'm just stupid and I can't get it out, I'm sorry. But um, there's no way of getting that to come out. But uh, anyways, the articulation for this guy, his head does fully rotate as expected. And it does move up and down. So a really nice range of head movement. And it does pivot side to side. His arms do go in and out that much. It's hindered because of the uh, shoulder pad right there. But you can fully rotate it and then move it in and out like so. So, the it does, like I said, it does fully rotate. It does bend at the elbow. And then it does have wrist articulation. So the wrists do fully rotate. And they do hinge in and out. His legs do go forward and back. And then they do hinge in and out like so. Bends at the knee. And then rotates at the boot right there. And he does have a really nice ankle pivot. So now as for his accessories, they are very limited. Because uh, the Red Ranger had a good amount of accessories. He had an alternative head sculpt. But uh, because the Black Ranger really didn't do much uh, in the first fight scene. He only has his Ranger stick right here in the holster. So not very many accessories. It's pretty sad, but uh, you're just getting it for the figure. 
but if you guys can see right there there is a peg hole and you can plug this in like so and then you can put the ranger stick in here like that so he's all geared up and ready to go and shoot some ooze men so that is the black ranger figure ladies and gentlemen really nice figure uh, if you guys want to go pick these up they are toys r us exclusives and they do cost about seventeen dollars in after taxes so uh, if you guys want to pick them up they're definitely worth getting uh, but I will be back with more reviews soon. Hopefully I can get the Pink Ranger because that would complete my first wave of movie figures. And uh, I think they're supposed to be releasing white, yellow, and blue really soon. So, But anyway guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later.